Hi, this is a quick video to help uh, understand how do we build or construct a wheeled vehicle. On the instructions it says the trailblazer or rubber band racer. Uh, so this is how it looks and we have uh, constructed so far a little bit. I can uh, just quickly go over the steps that we completed so far. Uh, we are kind of midway here. So um, on the instructions, uh, um, they also give a little bit of uh, instru um, a briefing about a mousetrap powered car um, and how it works. So it's similar to the Trailblazer rubber band racer. Uh, the rubber band race. Th this is a rubber band racer that we are building right now. But a mousetrap powered car is similar to that. Here, instead of the rubber band, we are, we use the mousetrap spring. So you can look at the description here um, in your instructions. So uh, these are the um, little things that come along with the kit. Um, identify and check or check off the falling parts uh, from the list below. So. There is a uh, two pre-drilled pre uh, pre balsa wood side rails, um, so 18 inches uh, by one and a half inches. So these are the uh, pre-drilled uh, side rails. So pre-drilled meaning there, there are holes already here uh, for the axles to go through. So you don't have to drill any holes. So all the required holes are already uh, drilled in, pre-drilled. And... Um, then it says one uh, um, balsa wood deck top. So this is the deck top, uh, the main board of in the vehicle. And uh, it's uh, one axle, brass axle, and then tracking bar. So so these are the axles. So this this is axle with axle with threads. Um, and this is a tracking bar, and uh, and this is this is a wing nut. And when you when you uh, turn the wheels, uh, this wing nut rides. Sorry, uh, this wing nut rides uh, through this into this track using this track bar. It glides over uh, using the thread. Just move. Uh, it moves in this direction and uh, and uh, vice versa. So um, so basically, uh, this is the tracking bar. This is a this is a threaded axle. These are the other axles. And then uh, there are steps to uh, put the um, axles through the holes, and then we have to put the wheels on, and we need to uh, glue a little bit um, on, glue the wheels on the axle. Uh, these brass uh, tubes are the uh, axle collars. Uh, these are the uh, spacers, the, the black, um, this is the uh, rubber spacer. And, uh, uh, this is the metal thrust washer and um, uh, the and then um, these are the foam foam wheels if they call it ultra sticky foam wheels and they are alike on both sides of uh, the outside or the inside we I didn't see we didn't see any difference um, it looked the same so we picked one side as inner and one side as outer and then uh, there's also a string. This is a pretty strong um, uh, synthetic string here, which is pretty strong. And then um, if on the lower side of the vehicle, uh, we need to attach two um, eye hooks. These are called eye hooks. And they also provide a rubber band. And that's how you have the rubber band here. And you tie the rubber band over here. It goes over a pulley. <clears throat> and um, uh, if I turn it back here, uh, the there's a string that goes over the pulley, and the string needs to go into a zip tie, um, into a zip tie which is going to come over here. A zip tie would be something like this, where one one end goes through the other end, <clears throat> and uh, it's going to be smaller than smaller in size. Uh, this is just an example. This is just a sample one. Um, so we're going to put it here, and then. Um, the way this will work is okay. One quick thing is the rear wheels could not go into the uh, into the into the axle. Sorry, the, the rear rear axle could not go through uh, go into the wheel the wheels center hole uh, easily. So I had to use um, a drill to make the hole wider. So this was only problem on the rear wheels. So this is the front and this is the rear. So uh, we had to um, use a drill so that we could widen those, that hole 
so that this axle could uh, sit in there and we, we glued um, the axle we put some glue into the center of center hole of the wheel and then we place the axle so they are glued also all right so how it works is uh, so all the instructions are there uh, on these pages um, I'm gonna take a quick uh, uh, zoom in um, frame here so if you want to read that um, sorry uh, these are the this is where it begins um, the steps and um, I'll just go over this just glide my camera on this you can you can you probably have these instructions um, but if not uh, you can uh, take a look over here and uh, I'll try to put some snapshots uh, screenshots at the end of the video also um, so these are the uh, ending steps so this is the the string needs to uh, we need to tie a loop knot at the end of the string and I'll, I'll just go over the steps how it works so this this particular string um, we, we tie a, a loop knot and uh, there will be a zip tie axle hook which is also called as axle hook so that axle hook um, will be on uh, will be fixed onto this and this hook will this uh, loop will uh, will be will will catch on to the axle hook like for example the axle hook is like this 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 uh, this loop will be connected to the axle hook and when the and when we and then we we move the vehicle backwards and what will happen is this this uh, this string will get wound uh, on this axle with the help of the axle hook and what will happen is when this is getting uh, wound it'll pull it'll uh, pull this way and it'll over the pulley it is pulling and um, on the re on the rear um, uh, under the hood what is happening is the string will be the string will pull the rubber band along with it as it is winding um, as it is winding with when the vehicle is moving backwards so it will uh, stretch the rubber rubber band as as much as um, up until here when it is being wound and then the moment you release the vehicle um, the rubber band will try to come back to its original position and it will um, it will roll this wheel <clears throat> the, the pulley with the help of pulley um, it will release uh, uh, the rubber band will come to its position and then the vehicle will try to move forward it's like a rubber band uh, releasing the energy and then we can also use the wing nut is used as a as a, as a brakes or, or the stopper so in case if the vehicle has to stop at certain length then we can adjust uh, the wing wing nut um, either towards the center of the um, threaded axle or towards the other end <clears throat> so when the vehicle is moving um, if it is um, if the wing nut um, comes to it uh, comes to one end of the of this axle the the wheel stops the wheel does not move forward and that works as a brake as as brakes so if i just try to bring this back to where it was so yeah it's it's a, it's a little thread so basically it just locks because the wing nut cannot move because of this drag bar um yeah, it and it comes to the end through the last thread it cannot move forward so it jams up the wheel and that's how works that's what works as it breaks so real quick uh, uh, if i keep rolling when the, when the vehicle is moving the car is moving forward the wheel is moving in this direction and then when the wing nut reaches the end uh, you see the the wheel stops i'm trying to move it further but the axle is not moving and that stops the vehicle the wing there's no space for wing nut to move further it's at the last thread and it cannot rotate itself because of the tracking bar and that's how the axle stops moving forward and that stops the entire vehicle all right all right so that's how the wheel vehicle works if you have any questions you can put in the comments i'll try to answer answer them i uh, hope you uh, enjoy constructing this wheeled vehicle thank you